Confirm patient medical and dental history and explain the procedure, addressing any patient questions or concerns. Obtain informed consent. Drape the patient by placing a napkin or bib and fasten it with a clip. Inform the dentist that the patient is ready for the procedure. While you wait for the dentist, wash your hands and put on your PPE. Always open sterile packs in front of the patient when possible. Make the final adjustments to the dental chair. There should be approximately 12 to 14 inches between the patient's face and the dentist's face. Provide the patient with protective eyewear. Ask the patient if he or she feels adequately numb and ready to start the procedure. Gently retract the patient's cheek and or tongue away from the treatment area while suctioning to provide a clear line of vision and ample space for the dentist to work as the tooth is prepared. After the dentist has finished preparing the tooth, rinse the tooth well and air dry. Maintain a dry field by placing cotton rolls, gauze, or dry angles at the site to prevent the buildup of any moisture. If a matrix is required to isolate the tooth for treatment, hand the dentist the requested matrix system. If a base or liner material is needed, mix the material as per manufacturer's instructions and assist the dentist with placement. Continue to rinse, suction, and air dry as needed throughout the procedure. Now that the tooth is ready to be filled, the amalgam must be mixed by the dental assistant. Using an amalgamator and an amalgam capsule per manufacturer's instructions, the dental assistant combines mercury and alloy particles to form the amalgam. Mix the amalgam to ensure the proper consistency of the material. Over-triturated amalgam will have a wet, shiny consistency and will be difficult to remove from the amalgamator. Under-triturated amalgam will be weak, rough, grainy, and unstable. Once the amalgam has been mixed to the appropriate consistency, the dental assistant should load the amalgam into the amalgam carrier. Quickly pass the carrier to the dentist to ensure that the amalgam does not begin to set before being placed in the prepared tooth. Prepare to retrieve the amalgam carrier and pass the condenser immediately to the dentist. This allows the dentist to begin packing the amalgam into the tooth preparation before it begins to harden. Reload the amalgam carrier and again prepare to quickly transfer the carrier and retrieve the condenser. Thank you.